and welcome to this special report. I'm Mark Tucson. For the next half an hour, we're going to take you into the eye of the storm, the most destructive and one of the most dangerous elements that a thunderstorm can produce, tornadoes. Tornadoes, they are one of the most dangerous and destructive elements Mother Nature throws at us, with funnels ranging from an average as small as 100 meters all the way to the monster destructive animals that are 600 meters wide and kill an average of 100 people each year, though over 100 may die in a single day. Tornadoes occur in many parts of the world, but no country experiences more tornadoes than the United States, which averages more than 1,000 annually and experienced a record 1,424 tornadoes during 1998. Although tornadoes have occurred in every state, including Alaska and Hawaii, the greatest number occur in the tornado belt or tornado alley of the Central Plains, which stretches from central Texas to Nebraska. Many of the tornadoes that form along the Gulf Coast are generated by thunderstorms embedded within the circulation of hurricanes. Before we can understand how a tornado is made and what makes up its life cycle, we must know where they come from. Thunderstorms can happen nearly anywhere in the world. The greatest frequency in the tropical rainforest areas where they may occur nearly daily. In temperate regions, they are most frequent in spring and summer, though can occur in cold fronts at any time of the year. Probably the most thundery region outside the tropics is Florida. During the summer, violent thunderstorms are an almost daily occurrence over central and southern parts of the state. The most powerful and dangerous severe thunderstorms also occur over the USA, particularly in the Midwest and over the southern states. These storms can and often produce very large hail and powerful tornadoes. A tornado is defined as a violently spinning column of air in contact with both a cumuliform cloud base and the surface of the earth. A tornado is typically shaped like a funnel with the narrow end on the ground. The strong winds of a tornado can destroy buildings, uproot trees, and hurl all sorts of lethal missiles into the air. People, animals, and home appliances all have been picked up, carried several miles, then deposited. Tornadoes have accomplished some of the most astonishing feats, like lifting a railroad coach with its 117 passengers and dumping it in a ditch 25 meters away. Other oddities include chickens losing all their feathers and pieces of straw being driven into metal pipes. Miraculous events have occurred too. In one instance, a schoolhouse was demolished and 85 students inside were carried over 100 meters without one of them being killed. Meteorologists with the National Weather Service survey damage after a storm event occurs. You may ask, why would they do this? Doesn't the Doppler radar provide accurate enough information? The answer is yes and no. Yes, because the Doppler radar is a very reliable and trusted tool for meteorologists, but in order to characterize what the storm damage actually was, requires a pair of eyes on scene to determine if it was a straight line winds event or a tornado that caused the damage. And if so, what scale on the Fujita scale the tornado was that hit the area. When tornadoes return to the Fujita scale, what is it and what does it stand for? Plus, a deeper look into the history of storm chasing when we return on Tornadoes. I'm Swindle U from Millennium Quality Cars and we are in the middle of our school's already started sale. Down here at Millennium Quality Cars, we have an obligation to sell you the cheapest car in town. You can tell by my Canadian tuxedo that we are so crazy, cars are practically driving themselves right off the lot. Check out this beauty. It's brand new to the lot with brand new tires for only $75. Buy this Ranger XLT and you get this Cutlass Sierra for free. An awesome deal for only $3,200. We've got deals all across the lot. 0.9 financing and $0 down with approved credit you can't lose. So stop down and see our working cars in our super selection for Millennium Quality Cars right here in Grand Forks on Columbia. We are the Canadian Tuxedo! Go! 
Hey, Doc and Orange here. Let's go for a ride. I want to show you something. See that coming up? It's a construction site. See my buddies out there? Listen to what they're saying. Slow down! Slow down! Slow down! Hey, you in the Buick. Where's the brake pedal, buddy? Oh, that's a big truck. Oh! Slow down! Hey, the orange says slow down. 